Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. I am missing you all so much. And do you know one of the things that I miss the most about nursery? I really, really miss reading you all stories. So I thought today I could read a story and you would be able to listen to it at home. Do you think that's a good idea? I hope so. Now today, I wonder if you can guess what my story is about. Hmm, can you guess? Any ideas? Yes, that's right. My story today is about a rabbit and the rabbit's name is Rupert. Here's Rupert, can you see him? Can you give him a little wave? Say hi Rupert. He's super excited to listen to the story too. So I'm gonna pop down R Rupert here and we're going to have this story today. And it's called Rabbits Don't Lay Eggs. And it's written by Paula Metcalf and it's illustrated by Callie Johnson Isaacs. Let's have a look and find out all about Rupert. Rupert the rabbit was bored with his burrow. It was too dark and too lonely. Next door, he could hear the happy sounds of the animals on the farm. Can you see the animals on the farm? Yeah, the sheep and a pig and a donkey. That's where I want to live, Rupert thought. So he started to dig a tunnel. Look at his tunnel, here it goes. On the farm, Dora the duck had just made a new nest. It was perfect. She was settling down to preen her beautiful feathers when suddenly, pop, Rupert burst out of the ground. Who are you? shrieked Dora crossly, brushing herself down. Hello, I'm Rupert, he said. Can I live on your farm? Dora laughed. <laughs> Everyone here has a job. Whatever could a rabbit do? Um... I could help keep things tidy, Rupert suggested. I'll start with that big pile of rubbish. <gasps> Do you think it is a pile of rubbish? But Dora wasn't impressed with Rupert's tidying skills. That pile of rubbish was my nest, she snapped. Oops, muttered Rupert. Dora sighed. <sighs> then she had an idea. Maybe you could keep the birds away from the seeds like Scarecrow. I can do that, said Rupert. And he could. Until he discovered how delicious the seeds were. You're not supposed to eat them, shouted Dora. Oops a daisy, he wasn't very good at that job, was he? Next they visited Cockerel, who showed off his magnificent call. Can you crow like a cockerel? cock a doodle do Oh, I can do that, said Rupert excitedly. He took a deep breath, threw back his head and shouted, crock a doo How ridiculous, laughed Cockerel. Rabbits don't cock a doodle do. Rupert tried again. Socky poodle poo. Dora sighed a big sigh. <sighs> Let's try something else, she said. What do you do on the farm, Dora? asked Rupert. I'll show you, she smiled. Dora nestled down and in moments she had laid a beautiful blue egg. Yes. Wow, gasped Rupert. I wonder if I can do that. Do you think he'll be able to? Mm, I'm not sure. Rupert crouched down and began to push, but no egg appeared. So he pushed some more and finally out popped a small, perfectly round. Ugh, that is not an egg, cried Dora. You're right, said Rupert glumly. Rabbits don't lay eggs. Look, Rupert, said Dora. You can sleep in the barn tonight, but you must find a job to do if you want to stay for good. Now, if you'll excuse me, she added, I have a nest to rebuild. Off she goes. He looks pretty sad, doesn't he? Poor Rupert. 
The other animals tried to cheer up Rupert with some food. I don't mean to be rude, said Rupert, but why eat hay when there's a field of delicious vegetables over there? We can't get past the fence, explained Donkey. Rupert giggled. Now I can do that, he said. Watch this. And this time he was right. He disappeared under the fence in a cloud of soil. Look, he's digging a tunnel under the fence. That's clever, isn't it? Minutes later, Rupert returned loaded with juicy carrots. Hooray, cheered the animals. Maybe Dora will let me stay now, said Rupert hopefully. Donkey shook his head. We can't tell her we've eaten the farmer's vegetables. She won't be happy about that. They tried to think of another job for Rupert, but their tummies were so full and before they'd even finished the last carrot, everyone fell fast asleep. Soon it was morning. Cock-a-doodle-doo, screeched Cockerel. But in the barn, nobody stirred. What a lazy bunch, thought Dora, marching to wake them. Suddenly she stopped. She stared straight at Rupert. What is that? She demanded, pointing to the carrot underneath him. She picked it up and examined it carefully. Unless I'm very much mistaken, said Dora. You've laid a carrot! How amazing! And all the animals giggled. He didn't really lay it, did he? Oh, Rupert, smiled Dora, you've found a job. So Rupert moved in and he was very happy on the farm. The animals were happy too because Rupert brought them fresh carrots every single night. Even Dora was happy. Especially when she discovered that carrots weren't the only thing that Rupert could lay. <laughs> Can you see the other, other vegetables that he's taken from the farmer's field? There's peas and tomatoes and mushrooms and turnips. <laughs> I think Rupert's going to have a nice time living on the farm. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. And hopefully I'll be able to come and read to you again soon. Enjoy lots of stories with your mummies and daddies in the meantime. See you soon. Bye bye.